class, more in your other class than this class, but a group of us who go to the library okay. on Wednesdays and like work on geometry homework. So we're doing this for Ellery. <laughs> So yes. we've mer we've copied the angle, and now we're gonna take this diagonal. This is the diagonal. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna just open up my compass to be that wide. So I have to do that. Then. So I've marked off that width, and I'm gonna yeah. put my compass at A. And I'm going to just make a diagonal arc. This is the diagonal arc. Okay. And See, this so, is where you're starting to teach me things I didn't know how to do. Okay, like that? Right. So now I can put my diagonal anywhere I want because it doesn't give me any other restriction. So I'm going to just make my diagonal like right there. And so that point right there, that point D, that's going to so, be one of the vertices, and this is my diagonal. So you put it a little closer to C than B? I did. I just put, and the, the thing is, it's asking if this is unique, and just because I could place that diagonal anywhere, the answer to the question is it's not unique. You know what would be super helpful on tests? I, you might not be able to do this, but it would be more helpful to just ask, is it unique or not, rather than having us do another construction. No, that... <laughs> But that's the next and I know level that. of problem solving. So this is my diagonal, and it's not unique, okay? So I've just put yeah. it in. And so I'm now, like, a, so far I've got the angle of my parallelogram. And I have the side, but I don't know how long it is yet. And I do know how long my diagonal is, so I put a point D there. So A and D are two of the points on my parallelogram. So now I have to copy this angle up here to get a parallel side. That's my next step. Yes. So I'm going to go back to keep my life simple. I'm going to go back to the same size angle arc yep. because I'm going to measure this. Look right here. I'm going to measure the width of this angle. Uh -huh. So I'm going to use that same arc measure. But I, I'm putting my pin at A, and I need that same angle up at D. So I'm going to, because I need to create alternate interior angles, okay? So I'm going to put my pin up at D and use that angle measure. And I'm just going to make an arc from the diag diagonal up. So you know how I'm, so do you see I made this arc over here? And I'm going to measure the opening from B prime to, I'll call it X. What's X? What are we calling X? That's, I'm measuring the angle from B prime to X. And X is where? It's, it's from the base to the diagonal. So then I have to figure out... Like here? Is that where it is? Here? Yes. This is X? Okay. Uh-huh. So now I'm going to do that opening from B prime to X. B prime to X. Got it. Then well, then I need to figure out, since X is on the diagonal, yeah. um, I, have, I have to find the corresponding point. So, see that measure? This now, I, issue, this right here is my corresponding point. This would be like my X prime right here. Wait, this, would it be this? Let me see. So, I, I took like, that distance? Right. And then I went up. That, yes. Mark you would mark it on, on the arc. On the arc, because you're trying to figure out uh, how wide the angle is. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my pin on my new x prime, and I'm going to get the arc. So the width of this angle. Hold on. Look at. You put your pen on your new x prime. Y yeah, because it. Look at look at here. See how the angle here is from x to b prime? Yeah. Now this is from x prime to, I guess I could call it b double prime over here. Because I'm trying to create, look at, I'm trying to create a parallel line there, right? So I'm trying to make this parallel line. I need to know where to put it. So I need the opening of that angle. Yeah, but my x... So your x is just on that diagonal, right? Yeah, and then my x and you, prime... And you measured from... 
here to here, right? Yeah. So now you're going to go onto the diagonal with this arc because it measure from there to there. Oh, you want it from there to there, not up here. Bye. Right. Oh, oh. So this would be like B double prime. Wait, so am I supposed to have X prime and then B double prime? Is that the idea? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying, maybe to, starting to, trying to give you like things you can talk to, talk about. So look at, look at my work here. So when I do that, and I draw on my line, I, I get a parallel parallel line. But mine doesn't come out like that. Well, that's just... What did I do wrong? Yeah, let's look. Let because me... mine comes out this, like that, and that's... Hold on. So... It does. Wait, what point are you going? You're going through the intersection. Oh, through the... So like this? Oh, you're going from... But that's from your vertex, right? Oh, from the vertex. Because the know reason where you're is, going from. yeah, because the angle down here went from from the vertex. Okay, have a good day, guys. And that's my. Now I can put this in here. Oh, I see how that worked. And then, but then I can use that length. Could I just go from? Here to there on the diagonal arc, and would that be one side? No, you have to look at. So here's this creates your length, right? Oh wait, so from B prime? Yeah, so from to B prime a. to A. So I'm gonna go get that length here, right? Jackson, gotta go. The length from B prime to A. And then I'm gonna move it over to D because D is the other vertex, right? And then just mark the intersection right at the line. Exactly, and, and it then, is close. But it's not exactly the same place. No, I'm gonna leave it here because I don't know where he is. Well, I know, but he's not gonna carry it around. That line. Oh, I sort of see. Okay. Um, so it's not unique, right? Because I could have put my diagonal somewhere else. Like I could have put my D up here. Like I could have put my D way up here. And right, that would right, right. create a totally different parallelogram. Yes. Um, can you send me this video as well? Because I'm